So for today, I want to leave on a bit of a fun note before we get into the quiz. So uh, let me try to drive um, this interaction that you guys saw. So you guys saw the interaction between um, these two cards, what happens when one of the cards is heavier. So, mm, ah, so actually this is a situ special situation that I came up with a while ago that's kind of fun. Um, so, so, you know, get, us, get some sense of how fast this is moving at some velocity, right? And watch this special interaction. So this cart is three times as heavy as this. It's going to come in at some velocity. Watch it, the velocities at which these move. Oops, sorry. Turn it the other way around. Watch the velocity at which these guys move. Would you say they are all moving at the same speed? Like if I call this initial speed of V0, then after the collision, this is moving away at V0, and this is moving backward, backward at V0. Right? Let's see how that might be true. And, um, and let's see. Yeah. So let me diagram that uh, picture here. So we are looking at collision between two cards, one of mass m, the other one of mass, mass 3m. And this will be an example of application of conservation, um, conservation of energy and momentum. Um, okay, yeah. I just realized uh, I'm falling behind then. We didn't cover an example that you guys have to have covered for your lab today. Um, so we'll cover that example when we uh, come back for the lab. <laughs> so we'll do that then. But let me finish with this example here. So we are looking at um, uh, so conservation law example. So you have two cards interacting, uh, one of mass 3m, the other one of mass m. It comes in with some initial velocity v0. They interact with each other. And after interaction, the picture you get is that the cart of 3m, uh, let's just give a general description. This cart of 3m moves at some speed. Let me call it um, v final 2. And this cart of mass m, so you guys saw it in the interaction that it moves the other way. And let me call this also some V final one, right? So that's the picture you have. This is the before the collision, and this is the after the collision. So the goal here is to calculate, well, what are these final velocities in terms of the initial velocity? Right? So, um, so here, this is the strategy we, we are going to use. Um, so the strategy we are, so this is, will be the model for other conservation law problems that you will solve. So whenever you are conser using conservation law, what you're doing is you identify the quantity that's been conserved. So you find some conserved quantity. For now, I will say, so this is the strategy. You find some conserved quantity, and you say conserved quantity one, uh, or sorry, conserved quantity at some point before is equal to conserved quantity at some point after. What justifies this uh, writing down this equation? Like, why can I say the whatever these quantities that I'm looking at, that before the interaction, it, it's the same quantity after the interaction? Because that, that's true, not, that's not true of every quantity. Because if you are looking at, let's say, velocity of these cards, then in the interaction, their velocities clearly change. So you couldn't say velocity before the collision is equal to velocity after the collision. What's special about quantities we call conserved that we can say this? Like what does it mean for a quantity to be conserved? 
that it's constant, that it doesn't change. That's why we can say this. Because we have identified it as a conserved quantity, we can say before the interaction and after the interaction, it shouldn't change. So here, um, in this interaction, we already identified the momentum as one of the conserved quantities. So let me write it down. So for momentum, what I'm saying is, all right, so momentum is a conserved quantity. So I can say that the net momentum before the collision is equal to net momentum after the collision. Let me write it down. So net momentum before the collision will be mass times this velocity, mv0, plus, uh, let me just write this out, mass times velocity. So it will be 3m times 0. That's the momentum before the collision. We can say that's equal to momentum after the collision. Let me say right word is positive. So it's a 3m. If we, uh, let me write it in order. So it's a mass times this velocity. So it will be mass times minus v final one. Right? That's equal to mass times this velocity uh, plus 3m. V final two. Now, as you look at this equation, does this look like an um, um, equation I can solve? How many unknowns? Two unknowns, right? It means I can't solve it. I don't have enough information yet. I need additional piece of information that'll tell me um, how to solve for either one of these two. So it, that, this is what it comes down to. Um, in this particular case, I need to know another conserved quantity. What other quantity in this interaction do you think should be conserved? Look at this interaction here, and what that reminds you of. What quantity do you think should be conserved in this interaction? Did someone say energy? Who said energy? Someone said the G. I thought it was ending of energy. Well, what other quantity is conserved here? I said the velocity isn't conserved. You guys have learned really only one other conserved quantity. Energy. Yeah, energy. That's why I was asking if someone said energy, because that's the correct answer. So you have to write down a conservation law equation for energy. So I see that I'm running out of time. So let me just write it down. And then um, you, I will leave the algebra to you. And when you go through the algebra, you will find that this should equal to v naught, And this should also equal v naught. So that's the second set of equations you need to be able to solve here. You have to say, OK, in this situation, Energy seems to be also conserved. So you say energy is also conserved. So here, all the energies you have are kinetic energy, no potential energy here. So you can say 1 half mv naught squared, initial kinetic energy, is equal to the final kinetic energy here, 1 half mv um, final 1 squared plus 1 half times the mass, 3m times v final 2 squared. And this can be um, non-trivial algebra because of the squares being involved. But it's doable. It's not that complicated. And when you go through it, unless I made a mistake somewhere, you should find these to be um, the speeds. But you know, even if not so, you, know, you have two unknowns, one, two equations. So at least you, know now, you now know it's solvable. So the, all you need is a couple minutes to go through the algebra that we don't have.